Ever have one of those times when a ringtone gets stuck in your head because your friend's cell phone keeps going off? Well, that happened to me recently when I was with my friend Ramesh Kumar, the CEO of Nishant Bioenergy in Chandigarh, India. There'd been a 3x increase in the price of liquid gas and people couldn't get their hands on enough of his stoves. His experience and the experience of 160 other social enterprises that we've worked with has taught us that driving distributed power is a key to economic growth. And the most important factor to make that happen is combining inexpensive energy technologies, the productive use of that energy, and making it easy to finance. If you look at the world population, it's set to grow by more than two billion by the middle of the century. And bringing on more large-scale power plants or trying to solve the problem one household at a time with home energy systems, these two solutions are just not enough. So we believe through our work with these social enterprises that the key is to enable small and medium-sized enterprises to provide energy for them to drive economic growth. If you go back to my friend Ramesh and Nishant Bioenergy, they've got a great business. For every 10 stoves that they create, they create a job. So what's the catch? Well, Ramesh doesn't have consistent energy to his factories for bioenergy creation or for the stoves. And every time the power gets cut in his factories, the economic engine stops. The good news is, we can work together to help Ramesh and thousands of other social entrepreneurs like him. And we'd like to engage you in this process through the launch of our energy map and through a series of upcoming events where you can capture the passion of this great work. Together, let's impact the lives of hundreds of millions of people. Join us to find out how.